I said this on Twitter this morning, and I believe it. I wasn't joking. I think that Zangief is the most footsies heavy character in Street Fighter V. I think he gets a reputation as being about mix-ups. Because once you get here, now you're playing mix-ups, right? And these are very scary mix-ups because they, you know, four of these, five of these, depending on the character, is going to kill you. And that's scary. And of course, there's the other side of other mix-ups that could happen, right? And that's scary. So I think people view him as this Vortex character. But for the most part, he is not. Karen has great footsies. She's thought of as a footsies character, and rightfully so. She has important footsies buttons. What she does is she's, she looks for crouching medium kick or whatever this into combo. Because what she really is, is a pressure character. What she really is about is, is hit confirming into pressure. Look for this, try to react to whether it hits or not, do the combo, whatever, I don't know. Pressure. She has a way to directly go from mid-range into pressure, very quickly. And that's the case with many characters in this game. If you think about the sort of list of characters, there's a lot that are that way. I'm going through the list of characters. Who does this? Laura, Karen, Rashid, Mika's that way, Ken, Ferdy, Kami, Bison, Chun-Li, Ibuki, Balrog, Juri, Yurian, Akuma, Pauline, Abigail, Zeku, G, Kage, Lucia, Gil, Seth. Anyway, it's most of the game who works like that. Who is looking for ways to go from about here into they have one thing that's like, all right, it's the conversion time. But Geef can't do that. For Geef to make that happen, he has to specifically get up close, point blank, Fierce SPD, or from further away, EX SPD, or very specifically, certain combos into Lariat. By which I mean, not every combo into Lariat, right? If you get it, if you get max range Lariat, stand short Lariat, you do not get pressure afterward. If you get this, you do not get pressure afterward. They can back tech and just get away. So from footsies, he's one of the characters who least has the ability to immediately turn it into strong pressure. In general, you are harassing with button, 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 you know, stand short whiff punish, crouching jab, extremely strong, of course, and whittling away the life. And hopefully, you do that enough as Geef that you can deal enough damage that you can just take the round like this, right? And you're your intention is to be a wall, moving forward, wall, 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 wall. Looking for jump, anti-air. Looking for jump, stand, jab. Jump, farther away, stand, roundhouse. Even crouching fierce. Now, maybe if you harassed enough, you can find time where the opponent is worried and they're gonna back off and, uh oh, I can't press a button, this guy keeps whiff punishing me with his little individual hits. What am I gonna do? That's the moment when oop, when you walk up as Geef and you, you know, get the party starter. Maybe you have really flummoxed them and you get a dash first. And every now and then you're gonna wanna jump. You know, you have a couple of different timings and ranges, you know, different things you can jump in with that present different requirements for anti-airs. That's not really the primary game for him. I wanna review a match just briefly. It doesn't need to be super long, but I wanna show it a little bit here. This is a match that I saw this morning on Maniaco Games' channel. This is Daigo playing Kage versus Asase Zangief. And I think this is what got me thinking about this morning. How Zangief is such a footsies focused character. Because as you watch this play through, you can see what I'm talking about. Round one. This is the entire match. The entire match is like this. Because it has to be. Because Geef does not immediately go from this range here. What can he do? If you're, you're Geef and you want to get in right now, right? You want to deal some damage. You hope that this happens, but now you don't get pressure. Right? Goes back to neutral. You hope for this. You hope for close stand short into Lariat, but that's rare. He doesn't get pressure out of this. But he's done his job. 
His, mm -hmm. his job is to whiff punish, his job is to set up baits, his job is to harass with buttons. With normal. This is the whole match. Can Geef press individual buttons enough to match up with the damage that Daigo gets? If Daigo finds a single stand fierce, he can hit confirm it, pressure. If Daigo finds a red fireball, knockdown time pressure. If Daigo finds a, you know, strong into axe kick or into whatever his hurricane kick is called, pressure. If Daigo activates, pressure. Like there's all these ways that Daigo can go from dash even. Daigo can go from mid range, this range that we've been looking at so far, and instantly be in pressure time. But Geef doesn't have that. If Geef were to dash, Daigo is going to react to that in time. And if you notice, he's not jumping in, he's not dashing, he is just doing individual buttons. He has good buttons. They're great footsies buttons. But that's because that's what the character is. Without minimizing the importance of footsies for any character, because every character requires footsies for sure. Without minimizing that, Daigo had sweep activate and then found two hits and did as much damage as Geef had done with footsies the entire round. Playing against Geef in this game can feel difficult because it feels like it's hard to get a button in. It feels like it's hard to whiff punish him. And if you do whiff punish him, most characters get pressure afterward. They can kill just like we saw Daigo do. But it, it feels hard to press those buttons. And so you retreat, you retract a little bit, and then that allows Geef to get going. At lower levels, you can get away with stuff. It's easier. When it comes to higher level play, not even this is top level play, not even top level play, high level play, you are already seeing Geef players play this slower style. Because that's all it is. That's, that's Geef in neutral. I think he's pretty good. He still has some suffering matchups, but I think he's pretty good overall. But I don't want to say that I think it's weak. I'm just trying to say that I think he's extremely footsies based.